At Hellsberg Diamonds, we love colored gemstones. There's such a great variety of them and so many cool designs. What's awesome is you can use them as great fashion accessories and we've even seen some customers use them as engagement rings. And what's really fun about gemstones is it's almost like opening up a crayon box and seeing all the fun colors inside. And there are three different dimensions to gemstones. There's hue, tone, and saturation. Hue is what color the gemstone is, so red, blue, green. Tone is the lightness or darkness of that color. So pink is a lighter tone of red and navy is a darker tone of blue. And saturation is just the purity or dullness of that color. When a gemstone cutter is cutting a gemstone, a lot of times what they'll do is try to maximize that color and that saturation. So they'll look at the rough from several different angles and pick the one with the most color coming back and use that as the top of the gemstone. Then the other thing they can do is take the pavilion of the uh, gemstone and give it a little bit of heft to add some more saturation to it. And the pavilion is just the bottom of the stone. The popularity has increased so much with these that we're seeing more and more lab-created gems out on the market, specifically with sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Lab-created gems are the same as their natural counterparts chemically, physically, and optically. The big difference you'll see in them is with the inclusions. Natural stones will have a lot more inclusions. Then the other thing that you're seeing is more and more treatments, and that'll be to either intensify the, uh, the color or maybe to fill in some fractures of natural gemstones. And uh, some of those treatments could be heated, irradiated, or filled. So a tip when you're looking at gemstones is to make sure that you ask if it's lab created or natural and if it's had any treatments applied. All of those are fine, it's just important for you to know what it is that you're actually getting. And the second tip is to make sure that you take proper care of your gemstones. You can either clean them using a simple kind of soap and water solution, or you can bring them into Hellsburg because there are few things that we love more than making your jewelry sparkle. We hope that we've answered another one of your jewelry questions, but we'd love it if you asked us more. Please reach out to us at any of our social media sites using the hashtag AskHellsburg. And we would be happy to answer them for you.